So it's like uh, this has been a test of the Canadian broadcast system or the national emergency for Royal well, Majesty's emergency thing. It was just Ontario-wide, apparently. But, but it had Vic Claxons come on over the radio, and I was like, is this for real? So I switched to another radio station, and it was doing the exact same thing, and I was like, do they test them all at once, or is this is this actually something happening right now? And then after about, like, 10 seconds, they came on and was like, this is a test. And I was like, you should tell people sooner. Yeah, man, I had, like, 10 was whole driving. seconds I thought, of I thought, do I need to drive to the grocery store and panic buy everything before other people can? Oh, well, that's just a good idea in general. Hey, folks, <laughs> I'm Sirius JG. Oh, hi there, I'm Zerfall. And uh, I would like to welcome you back to Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story. We're all, our whole party is doing synchronized dancing to the Creepy Waltz, which uh, Sir Fall probably has not yet heard at this point. <laughs> and um, we just got done finding a bunch of people who were trapped in a bookshelf underground. And now we're going to continue on. And I've forgotten the name of the guy who runs this town, but he's a jerk and we got to go take him out. It's also a ninja assassin running around somewhere, but he appears to be friendly, so... Yeah, he used to be a terrible murderer, but now he's trying to make up for his ways by murdering other people. <laughs> people who have it coming. So I guess, uh, other than providing guest commentary and, and your witty insights, um, it just occurred to me you should be paying attention to whether we're missing any stamps. <laughs> oh, right, the stamps. That's the one window I don't have open. Oh, it's your fault. All right, I got it. Luckily, the only time I've ever typed stamp into my Chrome browser is when I was looking up the stamp collection. Uh, ooh, they our, just want the hug. Our seal friend only has twenty six hit points. So that is probably not <laughs> like must have been him a, being close to full hit points here. Yeah, he's got so few that uh, does not appear that we um are using that many magic points. Avatar used up some magic points. I guess uh, what what's her face doesn't actually have any healing magic, which I don't know. She does. Never mind. I, I don't know what she I'm. She's her hoss hoss bond. Yeah, apparently, I think we got the stamp for this town, and the next one we're going to have to worry about is in uh, Pogju Village, or Pogu, depending Ooh. on mirrors. Is there a slight delay? It's not synced up to you at all! Um, I want to say you're right. It looks like there's, they're like... Yeah, it is. You're right, there is a delay. This, that makes it creepier! Oh, shoot. I was going to say something creepy was going to happen for sure, but I figured it would happen on its own without me. Oh, it's an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion. Tricks are what whores do. <laughs> Bobo, uh, just uh, word of the wise, those scouts may trick you with some sort of illusion. Okay, well, the illusion wasn't really that threatening, was it? Well, I mean, it wasn't real. That's true. I'm surprised we were able to <laughs> defeat it at all. Oh man. So maybe it's you gotta find one that doesn't have a reflection in it, and then you Or you can just fight as many illusions as you feel like. You can get some sweet level ups. Yeah, yeah you can actually keep uh... talking to them. We got ingredient oh, one. Ingredient one. So I feel like we probably are supposed to examine each of these. Well, if it turns out this last one just doesn't have a reflection. No, it does. Ah, but one of them is a warp. Okay. I don't know how we were supposed to be able to tell which one is the warp. Indeed, you are correct. There was not... I mean, unless I was, should have been paying much closer attention and not... Like, even if we find... I feel like we need to check all of them for the same reason we checked all the bookshelves. Because one of them might just be something case. different, yeah. I'm am kind of flashing back now a little bit to Breath of Fire three, with the like spooky mansion at the beginning. So there's it would a definite pattern going, going here. Time. Yes. So far, these things are not really displaying tendencies of being that dangerous. Like uh, there was one enemy that like we were beating them up and like talking about how wimpy they were and suddenly we found out it has like an instant kill attack it just hadn't gotten off before well these guys uh, have they gotten off a single attack I don't know. I don't we know did manage to get two level ups out of that level up bridges uh, level up bridges yeah no it's true 
Oh, we've got different paths we can follow now, Zerf. I don't know what to do. Hmm. We're on our own. Hey, hospital. Good job, Kyra. I wonder if that's just stronger or if it's everybody. Um, what do we have here to find? A vault key, a hip... Hip... Oh, it says Luckily, hypno. these things actually give you a little description. So, hospital is 60... Uh, healing to one, and Hospi is only 30. So yeah, it's twice as powerful, but only affects, still only affects one target. There's apparently a water pistol, Zenim's key, the vault key, and a uh, item called a Kamida Nomen, which, for all we know, might not be translated, or might be. Do you get a uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation achievement if you defeat the Burning Man, Man on Fire, with the water uh, pistol? Probably Just... not. Damn. It's hardly worth it then. Yeah, well, I didn't really have that many Xbox achievements on um, Nintendo systems. Oh, no. Looks like we should have saved before we came in here. I can probably go back for the treasure if we care. Uh... Yeah, this he, was. I don't, oh, sorry. Do you remember how he talked? <laughs> oh, he was the guy that was leading us around town. He was kind of. Yeah, I was trying to remember how he talked. Uh... <laughs> it is I, your old buddy Arzula. I am shocked you live still. Oh, honorable avatar, this is the end of your road for reals. <laughs> yep, yeah, your pathetic little life ends here. Kahihi, <laughs> Lord Zenim has decreed. And now we have to beat up an old man. Kind of, uh, kind of a weird looking kind of a old, man. Than regular old man, I suppose. He kind of reminds me of the guy I used to dance around in the King's Dominion ads that you probably didn't get where you were, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't say anything. He's just an, an, it was clearly a young man in old man makeup, but he was doing these really like involved dances, like high energy dancing around while wearing like really old man makeup and they were playing this music and it was fun. Play the, the Venga bus? Uh, Venga boys music? Venga, Venga something. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth, uh, like, it seems like he might be a mini boss. I don't know if it's worth really getting a lot of strategy going and trying to buff people, but yeah, we can at least attack up our main attacker. Yeah, and we have, uh, it seems like most of the magic users are getting MP and spades here that we don't have to worry about. Ah, that's true. You can actually make her attack uh, with water. Although the, the more powerful attack spells keep being like all targets rather than a lot of damage on one. Mm -hmm. Which, eh. I guess maybe we should be using them more against regular enemies. Those fights aren't giving us too much trouble either. I'm over leveled. We just don't have enough money to buy all the optional extras. <laughs> Yeah, it's strange how the, the money and the XP kind of really don't go hand in hand in this game. Two times attack, and it really didn't do much damage. Yeah, let's say we'll be able to coast for a little bit before we uh, have to really worry about it. It's just her being idle. Uh, she's got to do something to help out here, even if... Wolfie's, like, one attack did way more damage than her magic spell did. Luckily, hey, she puts, like, four of those together, and you got yourself a stew going. <laughs> four of those icicles? Yeah. Well, they melt in the pot, I guess. Oh, Get man. some potatoes in there. The Avatar cannot hit this thing. And by this thing, I mean this guy. Well, I don't know. He looks kind of more like a thing than a guy now. Now that we're seeing him up close. Good point. Now that we're fighting you in combat in your sprite slide, you were wondering why we ever thought you weren't evil. <laughs> I was just thinking that. It's like, did you look normal before? <laughs> well, I got 500 experience, and we've learned, folks, that you should judge books by their covers. <laughs> oh, the Lord is in him. Oh, Lord is in him. Oh, locked. What luck, Avatar got the Zenum key. It's not really luck. I mean, you see a hole in the door in the shape of Zenum's face. Hee hee hee. 
This door locked, daddy. So I suppose oh, maybe this is uh one of those <laughs> one of those type of holes. The the side of a cell. Normally it's more in a bathroom. Oh yeah, no, I don't think it's a glory hole, Zerfall. I although I was <laughs> looking at the last video I had to come up with a description for or that went public and it's like, oh yeah, boy, we sure we're talking a lot about jizz in that video. <laughs> I was like, why are our views so low? Oh, because this is a cute little kitty game and no parent would ever <laughs> let their kids watch our Let's Play of it. That might be part of it. <laughs> um Help. Which one of you is the key? <laughs> So I suppose we can use a guy, key Zenim key. Zenim, and that scum said I'd get a reward. Is this what he calls a bonus? Bring your dog around, I'll give him a bonus too. I don't consider being a sacrifice for Fat Badger's resurrection a benefit. Good point, you have a right to be angry, sir. Zinnim offered me a huge stipend, stipend, but I managed to get to fall on his bad side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like silently, hostily correct pronunciation. <laughs> That's the sign of a good co-help here. <laughs> <laughs> he flung me in this crud hole so fast it made my head spin. Spine. Oh wait, no spin. You're right. <laughs> now he's got me embarked. Earmarked. To be sacrificed on behalf of Fat Badger. That's slime! Oh, you marked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, close. Zenim hired me for his guard force. All I did was urinate in the garden. Well, it seems like you deserve to be in here, buddy. Those precious flowers just fertilized them some, and now this. Okay, now in fairness, if you had shat on the flowers, that could be considered uh, fertilizing the soil, although you don't generally want to do that directly on the leaves. Um, but no, pissing on them, not really helping. As far as I, my, my understanding of the nitrogen cycle, urinating on plants, not helping them. What I wouldn't give right now to be back at mom's kitchen eating fried okra. What the fuck, translators? <laughs> that is not what the Japanese game is talking about here. So I wonder if we should go back before we continue deeper into this dungeon. Oh, I suppose we probably should. I have to fight the old man again. What? <laughs> that was just like, exactly where we fought him. I oh, okay, yes, yeah, just... the old man, only now he's taking the form of a suit of armor. Oh, maybe this is a treasure room that we could check out. The door is locked. Or maybe this is a... Damn it. Maybe this is actually where we need to go next for plot, and I should not have done this. I just... Mmm, those things might it. be Capone's vault. There was nothing in Al Capone's fault, but it wasn't Geraldo's fault. So, I guess this is not unlocked by the same key, or I somehow lost the notion of how that even works. No, I'm pretty sure that there's there's several, uh, at least two keys we can find here, so ah. I'm guessing that that's the case. we got to find another key. Oh, these armor killers, they kill other armors. I feel yeah. like they shouldn't be coming in pairs. Well, they've got as many hit points as that freaking mini boss did, almost seems like. Copper armor. It's the copper top battery. So, yeah, it's not going to be better than Karate Gi for Garo. He can wear armor. Uh, but no, it's not. <clears throat> okay. Didn't it go up to 7? 137? Down by 7. Maybe I was not paying close enough attention. Yeah, it goes no, down to 127, yeah. Don't tell me I'm not coming, you just... Oh, hey, here we are. A bronze statue of a brave soldier. A bronze statue of a cowardly soldier. Go open the treasure chest. Nice. Oh, nice! You found a strong mint. Curiously strong. Go over the treasure chest. Nice! Vitamin all. It's Vitamin Ali. Named in honor of the guy who sadly passed away. Bronze statue of a brave soldier. Bronze statue of another cowardly soldier. You can somehow tell by his uh, eyes behind the mask. Go open the treasure chest. Soup! 
Grandpa, you found the long sword. We might have to switch party members just to make things more interesting, although I don't know how much difference it'll make. Brave soldier. One of these has to not be a brave soldier. Like, one's a shifty soldier. How do you know he's the bad guy? As you can tell because his eyes are shifty. We found the giant hammer. Now, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. Because I'm a terrible neighbor. <laughs> nice. Uh... Oh, the Cosmo Sword is grayed out because it's equipped. I was like, what? We got more than one Cosmo Sword? <laughs> you guys aren't really worth the trouble. Uh, but you're the one with the fact. Are we pretty much finding the treasures we were expecting to find down here now? or? Uh, according to this... Um, I can't remember. I think we already found some of these in his mansion inside the little room. But I see a vital A. A scat mint. Yeah, we got the scat mint. Or the strong mint. Uh, you said there was another key to find. We do not seem to have that yeah. yet. So I guess I'm guessing we'll... we're going to have to backtrack after we find this other key. Well, no, we... Um... Oh, to that little place that looks like uh, an isolated little room. Yeah, it's got to be a treasure trove. It's got to be. A flavor. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> yes, he's one of those face. His face. Why, did he, why did he make his locks the shape of his face? So you have to like cram a key in his face. It makes little to no sense. Kind of a weird dude. I hope the key isn't shaped like anything phallic. He's got a he's got a, sh a thing shaped like his face, and his mouth is open, forming a hole. And you've got a key that's shaped like shaped like another reason kids shouldn't be watching this LP. <laughs> no, another. Is this the same? This is not the same of... rogues gallery as before. Hee hee! The door is locked. Hee hee! It'd be great if, like, the last one you find with his face on it's like. All right, it's not that funny anymore, but the log of us is his face. <laughs> it looks like his face. Durr. Oh, wow, that's a, a, lot of, a lot of voice acting to be done here. Thanks for saving me. Here, take my treasure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We you don't need to do that just to be saved you. At least I'll just buy you dinner first. the Avatar got the water pistol. Thanks again Thank you for saving, saving me again. Oh, you guys are in here with monsters? Jeez, that's why they need saving so badly. It's the Devil Clocker. It's uh, vanilla and the gigantic Devil Clocker. I love when we get doubles on the little seal guys attack. That was a lot of experience points for how much combat that was. Zenim's power is not all that mighty. He does not have it, or he does have an advantage though, pardon me. <clears throat> Once he starts wearing that magic armor, you can't hurt him. At the same time, watch out for that bag of tricks in his magic encyclopedia. Hmm. And, that, and now this kind of weird little circle on my bottom left butt cheek is just going to continue to bounce around forever. Now here's the question. Does he have his hand behind his back or is there a hole in his I robe? Think, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be his hand, but that's what I'm hoping anyway. Zenim's always smiling, and they may wonder what he's been up to. <laughs> Seems like he's a fish individual. Anyways, I'm in prison because of him. I don't know why. <laughs> he's always smiling. I wonder what he's up to, and how come we can't see his right hand? Uh, I don't know who you are, but thank you. Hmm. Next time I see Zenim, I'm going to clobber him good. Zenim was on cloud nine when Dargo died, and even more thrilled recently. Once he got hold of the Aurosphere, he was almost dancing on air. I hold him Ill, no ill will for putting us in here. <laughs> it just made me happy to see him happy, you know? Zenim may have that awful magic encyclopedia, but he can't read spells anymore. I took his glasses. I'm getting a real kick out of this. What a total buffoon. Well, why can't he read spells? Ugh. 
Nah, Zinim read the magic encyclopedia and created various monsters. Wait, nah? Nah. Okay. Nah, nah, did you, nah. Did you step nah. on that shell once? What's the save point, right? Yeah, but maybe does it give us full health and mana? Uh, well, let's check and see if we already got it. I mean, we shouldn't. 61 to 112 is your... What's your face's hit points? No, it does not. Boo! Yes, boo. <laughs> you know, with with one or two exceptions, the games that do that for you are usually too easy. Oh, here we go. Now shit's getting real. I should have saved. Azenim, I won't allow you to resurrect a Fabaja. I, a killer, will stop you. Oh man, I did both of these voices, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, that rat, fi uh, rat finally swung out of his hole. Hey, <laughs> your flashy costume. Looks like one of Dogla's assassination squad rigs. Ho oh, hum, am I correct? You of all people, a would-be rescuer of that ten horned shell hero. Sneaking about my mansion like a low-bellied snake in the grass. That's why you got booted out of the dumb out of dumb but dogless assassination squad, <laughs> right? Man, this guy's hardcore. The ones you betrayed are still after you, I imagine, but on their revenge. <laughs> well, I don't advise sneaky backstagging murdering types. <laughs> I prefer people who pretend they're your friend and hosting a party, and then sacrifice you to Toggler. <laughs> but you, you are nothing, just a joke, a cowering craven wannabe warrior. Yeah, legend in your own mind, reminding me of the two types of people. We have the weak and we have the strong. Yep, the weak part of the strong. Well, guess which one you are and what you're about to do before me! Oh no, he got hit. Um, who's saying that? Oh, I guess this is our hero now. Hey, over there, why would anyone bad likes to use in him? Hmm, <laughs> a fine man who waddles in arrogance and self indulgence, daddy. Maybe this is someone who. <laughs> mm, who are you? No, I guess it's somebody else. No, it is us. Oh, um, who do you think you are? Those are show heroes again? Wait, no, no, it's you talking. <laughs> <laughs> this game really makes it confusing. Oh, um, who do you think you are? Those little show heroes again? So you're finally making a play, and you want the aura sphere returned? Well, you can't have it. To me, you're just me more vermin to be exterminate. Oh, vermin, is it going to be a pretty heavy score? <laughs> But you made it this far, so I'll accommodate your death wish. Wait, we don't have a death wish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come and get some of the pain I planned to dish out. Well, here comes the pain. Oh, he's got thugs. We don't need to deal with extra thugs. Oh, we don't even have to. We don't even get to fight him yet. What a jet. Well, yeah, no. So we didn't heal up because I didn't realize we'd get sucked straight into a boss fight. So. Well, don't don't feel too bad, because this Death Wish is going to be like uh, the one with Charles Brosnan, so we'll come out on top. And there'll be like four sequels. <laughs> so it'll work out just great. Uh, I guess we should concentrate attacks on one. Sword Killer, it's just against them. Sword Killer. Come on. Uh, bada boom! <laughs> See, it's kind of weird that the Armor Killers, like these guys should be named Armor Killers, and the other guys should be named Sword Killers, and they should hate each other and never fight together. Always against each other. No, I think that yeah, makes a lot of sense. I really do. Um, I'm just a little nervous about the the lack of hit points that so many people are currently uh, undergoing. Well, luckily we have the newest and greatest version of Hospi. Right. Hospil. Which I don't think our seal friend even needs that many hit points, or can get that many hit points. I might just be totally, totally wrong. No, I don't think he's he's got that much going on. There's not much going on in the HP department, if you know what I mean. No, I hear you, man. You know what they say about guys with small HP counts. <laughs> they, they don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't beat Trump in the primaries. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what they say. So I did not notice. I did not I, like at all take in what they did with their turns. So that probably wasn't that wise. Well, it couldn't have been too bad if neither of us noticed. Well, I mean, they didn't attack at, like, at all, I think. I'm probably just way too concerned about, um, healing everyone up when we've got another boss form to fight after this. 
we should um, switch our paradigm to one that has like a sentinel and some healers. <laughs> it's been so fucking long since I played that. Why am I even thinking about that? Eh. What we really need to do is start carrying. Like, if we could carry a oh combo that, hit, that kind of hurt. If we could carry around sushi, we would be able to like shoot our gun and then eat sushi afterwards and just like alternate and turns. Shoot that again. Way. Yeah. Yeah. That would work. Awesome. It's kind of weird in that game. There's like, okay, you may have to pay more money if you keep eating sushi, but you have like thirty chances before you spend too much money. I don't oh, understand this shopping in that game at all. It's definitely a uh, pretty zany game, though. But it's not the one we're playing right now. <laughs> the uh, armor killer's got some uh, hit points compared to the regular enemies around here, I guess. I mean, they are legit boss. Yeah, I guess it's... the combat's just not that exciting. Oh, I guess we could twin. Bla Have we been twin blazing this whole time? No, I've been I've game? been trying to concentrate on one uh, enemy at a time. I, mean, I feel like the combat in this game isn't overly exciting for the most part. It falls into the very. It's pretty. It's kind of yeah. I mean, it's, it's a like fun. The... It's a fun. I, I I enjoy some of these like RPGs that didn't make it to the states, but. I mean, it's just like, other than the fact that, oh, it's neat, I never got to see this as a kid, but it's got similar art styles, and it's it's like what I remember having loved as a kid, except I haven't played through it already ten times. But beyond that, yeah, by and large, the ones that didn't make it to the States were not, like, the strongest uh, titles. <laughs> That's sort of what I've found a lot of the time. Now, it looks like um, our Ice Princess was actually doing more damage, even on her area of effect attack, than... Uh... Avatar yeah. was. Yeah, no, her. These guys might be weak against uh, water. I, I think I need to use her turn to um, heal here, unfortunately. But yeah, I kind of was like, hey, I should have been doing forty hit points of damage to each one every turn for a while there. I guess what I was getting at though with the RPGs is like, yeah, I have yet to find the JRPG of that generation that didn't come over that like, you know, oh, this is better than Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, yeah. Haven't, haven't I guess they did tend to send. Okay, so sometimes they focus and then they probably do the combo attack afterwards. So you have like I two believe turns. you are right about that. That would make sense to me anyway. So we're free to do, attack with everybody this turn of some kind because he's only going to do 50 damage. Well, he might kill. He could kill the little little rascal there. Eh, whatever. <laughs> do we really care if he does? Well, it's, he hasn't attacked that anybody yet except for the two melee guys. So watch her now, like, take out her little seal friend. Well, he's feeling lucky. Is he lucky? Yeah, he's pretty lucky. Nobody got to uh, get attacked at all there. Nice. Nice. Picked up 90 pearls. Uh, now we got to do it all again. Probably, yeah. Or he'll run away. Yeah, he'll be like the boss of the next area. Well, it's actually starting to f seem that way, because our little assassin friend is down, and uh, and I we have control back, which means that we could talk to him at any time. But I think that any time might be the start of the next video. Will I remember which flavor of vaguely racist Asian voice I gave him next time, folks? <laughs> Was it young, somewhat racist Asian voice or old, somewhat racist? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll let Zerfall voice him next time. Um, but you, you'll end up making him talk like a, a one of the Barabas, the like black... Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> love that voice, though. <laughs> All right. Anyway, folks, I'm Sirius JG. I'm Zerfall. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join us next time as we might be right on the cusp of dealing with the city that is an evil bacchanalia where everyone's being fed to Fat Badger. Bye-bye.